Today, we are checking out the iMu Z6, the world's first dual camera smartwatch. A few years ago, making a video call from your watch would only have seemed possible in the realms of fiction. However, now, thanks to iMu and their recently released Z6 smartwatch, not only can you tell the time, but you can also speak to people quite literally face to face. Let's just get this out of the box then. And wow, look at that watch. So let's unwrap this, remove the watch from its holder. And now we can take a closer inspection of it. And I must admit that is a very, very unique design. So what we have here then is a resin strap and then as for the watch fascia's cover, I'm not too sure what the material is, but it does feel extremely strong. Now on the back is where the SIM card is placed and just to confirm, this watch does work with a huge amount of networks. So no matter where you are located in the world, this watch should work. Now, I suppose a few of you out there are probably thinking, whoa, what a chunky looking watch. And yes, I have to agree. I mean, even from the sides, the width of this device is just over 1.5 centimeters. However, in its defense, there are a few good reasons as to why this is slightly bigger than the average smartwatch. And the first one is because this has not exactly been designed for adults. It has in fact been made for children. And for peace of mind, you'll be glad to know this casing is not only dust as well as scratch resistance, but it is also shatter resistance as well as waterproof up to a depth of 20 meters. And of course, the main reason for this watch's slightly bigger design is because of its dual camera capabilities. Now, if we take a look on the front, you will see where the first camera is housed. And this one is a five megapixel camera with a 84 degree wide angle sapphire lens. And as for the rear camera, well, if we press a little release catch, bring up the watch fascia, and there it is. But this one on the back is in fact an eight megapixel camera, again, once more with an 84 degree wide angle sapphire lens. And I must say for a watch that feels practically indestructible, as well as being waterproof with front and rear cameras, its weight is still surprisingly light, coming in at only 66 grams. But let's just quickly finish off this unboxing. So if I lift this up, we are met with what appears to be a iMu SIM card plate remover. And then of course, this must be a charging cable. And yes, it is. And it's also a magnetic one, which is great for ease of use. But as much as this watch looks and feels great, just how good are its specifications? Well, starting with its internals, its CPU is the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 2100. It houses a 680 milliamp battery, along with eight gigabytes of ROM for internal storage. Then for connectivity, well, it supports 2G, 3G and 4G networks, as well as GPS location tracking, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and of course Bluetooth. Before finally moving on to the housed exterior screen, well, that is in fact an MAO LED multi-point capacitive touch 1.41 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 360 that is all nicely protected by Gorilla Glass. So as you can see, this child's gadget is actually quite a phenomenal piece of kit. But now comes the part I'm sure you've all been waiting for. So let's turn it on and see what it has on offer. So we turn it on by pressing and holding the button on the right. And we are met with the iMoo logo. And as you can see, it's powered by Android. And after a few moments, the watch boots up and we are greeted with a very bright and clear display. I mean, you can see we've got the time displayed there. We've got the day, the date, even a little battery meter to show you just how much power is left in the watch. Now, just to confirm, by the way, in order to use this device to its full potential, you will need to download the iMoo app on your phone or smart device. But don't worry, it is a very, very quick and easy process to do. And I've placed the full details on how to do it in the description of this video. So if we scroll across, we then come into the watcher's main menu. And as you can see, there is an awful lot of apps to play around with. But look how silky smooth that motion is as well when scrolling through them. 
But the first thing I want to try out is the watches cameras. So I've got a few items here we can do a few test shots with whilst we're here in the studio. And of course, we'll try both the front and rear camera as well, and then compare the shots. So this could be a bit awkward, but I think that's in focus and... We'll now do the same shot again, but with the rear 8 megapixel camera. So here are the two photographs, and as you can see, the quality of the pictures is actually pretty high. The colours are also nice and bright as well as vibrant, and both objects are in pretty much sharp focus. So when you think about it for a watch camera, the capabilities are quite phenomenal. Incredible, absolutely incredible. But now let's try and send a chat message from the watch to the iMu app that is installed on this phone. So if we select the chat app and then click on dad, which is my phone number, we are met with an option to hold to talk so you can send a voice message. But if you scroll across, you are met with some pre-installed pictures if you wish to send them. Before finally scrolling across once more, you come to your photo album as well as the additional options of taking a photo or video or even a voice changer. But we'll try out the hold to talk option first of all. So here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And there you go, almost instantaneous, the message has been sent. And just to prove it has worked, let's give it a little listen. Testing, one, two, three. That's pretty cool. As for what else we can do with the watch, well, if you press and hold an app, you can actually personalize where you want each app located on your little main menu. But in general, most of the apps do exactly what they say they will. So we've got a stopwatch there, and you can obviously start or stop or reset it. And then if we go back, we have a daily schedule, which again, no plans yet, but you can add them in the app. And, but the thing I really want to show you is this shake mode. Now, you give that a moment to warm up. And as you can see, it says free to shake. And watch this, when I shake it, You sometimes get rewarded with a few points, and you can use them points to access more features, such as additional themes on the watch. Now, if we go into the step counter, as you can see, it has been counting today's steps, which I've done only 14 of, but it is nice that it shows you a target as well to help keep your child nice and active. So that's just a quick look at some of the features the watch has, but now I just want to quickly show you the app in action as well. So for the main screen, you obviously have the chat options if you wish to speak to your child or the owner of the watch. And then if we go to the right, you have the locate option, which yes, does pretty much show you exactly where the watch is. So you can find out where your child is pretty much all the time. But the next two tabs are actually quite cool in terms of peace of mind. Because if we click on the notifications option, it gives you a list of what's been happening with the watch, especially if any changes have been made, such as adding a new contact, which is great if you are a parent or guardian, because then you can see exactly what your child has been up to on their watch. And last but not least, we come to the More tab, and that opens up a whole host of additional settings to play around with, including a photo wallpaper maker, so you can make a photo a wallpaper on the watch. But the main thing is the class mode, and I think this is quite an ingenious feature, because let's just say your child wants to take their new watch with them to school, but doesn't want to be bombarded with messages and phone calls. Well, if you enable the class mode, that quite literally turns the watch into a device that can only tell the time, and will stop all messages as well as phone calls coming through except that from a parent or guardian, if you wish. So not only does that keep your child from being preoccupied with their watch, but it also allows them to concentrate on their work. And for those of you wondering just how does the watch look when it's on someone's wrist, well, there you go. And yes, like suspected, it does look slightly big, but at the same time, if you were seen out and about taking photos on your watch, you've got to admit, it does look pretty awesome. But now it's time for me to truly test out this watch by wearing it for a couple of days and playing around with its remaining apps and features. But then of course I shall come back to you and tell you just how good this watch really is. 
So with a trip to the beach, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to see exactly what this watch can do. But then out of nowhere, a huge rainstorm arrived. So I am soaked and the watch is soaked but because it's waterproof there is nothing to worry about which is great for peace of mind especially if the watch is to be worn by uh, the younger children because they can just play around they can get it wet it doesn't matter because the watch will remain fully intact and still working now this watch does have a zoom feature as well so i wanted to quickly try that out and unfortunately as it's only digital zoom, it isn't really much good for capturing detail. But still, it's a handy feature to have if you wanted to maybe try and make something else that was far away in the distance without having to travel all that way. It was great to see a rainbow appear after the storm had passed, which surprisingly the watch camera picked up quite well. Now, just to confirm, videos are only recorded in 10 second bursts, but it's still incredibly handy if you haven't got your phone or camera to hand. He He's a big crab. He's actually... He's in there somewhere. Don't worry, we'll set them all free at the end. But it's the photographs in brightly lit conditions that really show off the camera's true potential. Now this is an example of a statue near the beach and it's honestly quite astonishing how everything is coming through not only clear but the colours are vivid as well as bright and inviting. Now if you were to enlarge the photograph it does become more and more pixelated the bigger you go. However you wouldn't really want to be enlarging these pictures for photo albums as I feel this camera is more for quick snaps or capturing a few moments to share with your family and friends. When it comes to low light conditions though, the quality of the images do deplete rapidly. Now it was still fairly bright when this picture was taken, but as you can see the photograph is not exactly in sharp focus, and a lot of noise has been picked up too. You can still make out most of what the pictures are, but generally these cameras are just not suited for snapping away in the dark. This also seems to happen with video as well. Captures are quite pixelated when there's not enough light and the motion of the playback is not completely smooth either. Again however you can still see what is generally happening but it's not exactly a mesmerizing watch. I did really like how accurate the GPS locating system was, keeping up with my location whilst on the go, and even recognising I was travelling fast when I was being driven in a car. And finally, as for video calling... Hello there. Hello. <laughs> how am I coming through? Very clear, the image is clear and your voice is too. So is yours actually, you are coming through, in terms of pixel quality, it is very, very clear and your voice is coming through sharp as well. That's, it really is quite incredible. It's fantastic. I can even track your location. Can you track, of course, yeah, on the app you can actually see where I am based, can't you? I can indeed. No, no sneaking off for you. Now let's just say I was like uh, pretending, oh yeah, I'm on my own, I'm not with my friends, I promise I'm not going to the pub. You can actually switch the camera around from the app, can't you? I can indeed, so I can have a little sneak to see where you are. Oh, and uh, yes, um, as you can see, I am just on my own, and I promise you I'm not going to the pub. Mm -hmm. I hope not. <laughs> Well, that was a quick test of the video call, and in terms of smoothness, quality, and sound, it works very, very it does. well. It does. It's exceptionally well. Thank you. And there you go. That was a quick overview and, of course, demonstration of the quite cool Z6 smartwatch from iMoo. 
And I've got to admit, after trying it out, it really is a watch that is pretty smart. Concentrating on the fact that this is designed for children, it really is a fantastic alternative to provide your child with an almost smartphone-like gadget, but without the smartphone price. Yes, of course, you don't get the additional features the latest smartphone may offer you, such as a web browser, but this is done as a safety protocol to stop your child from accessing random websites or even run up huge bills as they download endless amounts of games. But it's the camera capabilities for video calling, taking pictures or even videos that I find most impressive. Again, you can't compare them to something you may see on a smartphone device, but to have an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and an f-stop of 2.2 all on a watch, I think that is truly remarkable. And as for battery life, well, with one charge, the Z6 seems to hold up pretty well. Of course, this will vary depending on usage, but I found out during testing I could get it to last between one or two days. And for a 680 milliamp battery on a watch with all these incredible features, I think is more than satisfactory. I do think it is a shame there is no option for some sort of parent mode that would open up the watch and allow access to third party apps, thus making the device available for not only children but also adults alike. But maybe this is something for iMu in the future, because after seeing what they have created with the Z6, I truly believe they could make an incredible smartwatch, but this time for the older generation. So overall, if you have children, then this watch is an incredible piece of tech that I am sure they will love. It's a great looking as well as easy to use device with plenty of control for parents to help keep their minds at ease. Throw in the fact that this is also waterproof as well as encourages exercises with its race and step apps. The iMu Z6 is definitely a watch that as a parent myself, I would highly recommend. Now, as usual, before I go, don't forget to tell me your thoughts on the iMu Z6 smartwatch in the comment section beneath this video. And if you did like this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, and most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.